David James and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a gluten-free stuffing aka dressing recipe. It's only stuffing if you use it to actually stuff something. <laughs> but this recipe is gluten-free and it's absolutely delicious and probably completely different than anything you've ever had. We're going to start with four cups of cooked long grain white rice. Just go ahead and add it to a bowl. Go ahead and follow the package directions for cooking your rice or your rice cooker's instructions. Really very simple. Nothing's really been added to this, just water and rice at this point. All right. Next thing we're going to add is one pound of browned cooked sausage. Just put that in the bowl with the rice. Then we're going to add three diced Granny Smith apples. So delicious. I love all the different varieties and combinations that you can definitely do here. Then we're going to add one chopped onion. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and um, sauteed this in the sausage drippings and then a little bit of butter just for uh, flavor to um, get the onions translucent and not in the raw stage. So go ahead and add those. Then what I've done here is I have one cup of dried cranberries that I rehydrated in one and a half cups of fresh squeezed orange juice. Go ahead and just add that to your rice mixture. As you can see, the colors are really beginning to build here as well as the flavors. This is my favorite go-to stuffing. This is one cup of diced pecans. This is going to add a little bit of flavor, but also texture and a dimension of um, you know, different texture to this stuffing. Here in front of me, I've got one teaspoon of dried thyme. Go ahead and add that. One and a half tablespoons of dried basil. Go ahead and add that. And then you're just going to salt and pepper this to taste. Right now, that's about one teaspoon of pepper or salt and a half teaspoon of pepper here. And then you're going to go ahead and just toss this up. You want to get this all incorporated, completely mixed, all together, looking great. Now, if there's anything that I've added here that you do not like, you can omit it. This is very versatile, this recipe. Try walnuts instead of pecans or Toasted hazelnuts would be good. You can even omit the sausage and have this be vegan and um, vegetarian. Like I said, this is a gluten-free recipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get a spoon here, taste this. What I'm doing right now is I'm just tasting this for flavor. If we need to add any salt or pepper or anything to it. I think we're good here. So good. Mm. So, and you're ready. Just put this out once it's tossed all together and warm. This is ready for your Thanksgiving table. And this came together in literally no time. See, Thanksgiving does not have to be an all-day affair. You've got family here, go be with them or not. And uh, you can get dinner on the table in nothing flat. This here is a gluten-free stuffing. Here we go. That everyone is going to enjoy. From my home to yours, happy Thanksgiving. As a bonus, there's tons of leftovers after Thanksgiving. What to do with all that extra rice stuffing? It's great on its own, warmed up the next day. Or perhaps you'd like to gild the lily. Here I've got some roasted acorn squash that I've cleaned out and roasted for one hour at 350 degrees. I've not added any butter, oil, or anything. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna roast this Cut side down after you've cleaned it out. What you can do is with your leftover stuffing after Thanksgiving is go ahead and stuff the inside cavity of this acorn squash just like this. You're going to want to do all of them like that. And you can 
do however many of these that you would like. You know, if you've got a family of four, you're only going to want to do two, which will yield four halves, etc. And so once you've got these stuffed roasted acorn squash here, everything in this has already been cooked. You're just going to want to now heat it through. But before you pop this under the broiler, add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to this, or Paprika Romano, and pop this under a high broiler, watching it every three minutes you want, to, you want to check this. You do not want this beautiful, lovely cheese to burn. And in no time, you've got a Thanksgiving leftover that's been made new again. So here they are, straight from the oven. The cheese is melted. It's starting to, uh, you know, turn brown a little bit. And so I think these are ready for the serving platter. So just use a pair of tongs because these are hot. Move them to your serving platter. I think they'd look nice if we had a little bit of rotate like that. There we are. done and hot from the oven. This is Thanksgiving leftovers redone. Stuffed roasted acorn squash with my gluten-free Italian rustic style dressing. Happy Thanksgiving from my kitchen to yours.